So if there's a threat, identify and act on the threat, right? Because we've only heard anything to the contrary once it became expedient to, to sort of justify a, a subsequent behavior. But, you know, you take an oath to the Constitution and to the people. And I'll tell you that it's an interesting time when the President of the United States is a reality TV star. Having said that, I watched and listened to a lot of people with whom I generally ideologically agree say, well, well how are we ever going to survive, you know, this terrible administration wrought upon us by President Obama, and here we sit. So what I would submit is that America has overcome amazing challenges, that Donald Trump is, is as frightening as he is to some people, um, small potatoes compared to Nazi Germany and Imperial Japan and all that sort of thing. It's, so he's worse? Yes? Uh, and, and, and so I guess at the end of the day that, that my, my belief is that even when there's someone in the White House that we vehemently disagree with, this great nation will continue to move forward by virtue of the collective of American people who, whose ideals span, I think, for the better, a broad breadth of, of, of potential worldviews. But, yeah, if I see a Trump who I think has betrayed his duty to the Constitution, he needs to go. It just happens that I don't see the world through the same sort of opinions as you do. Yes, sir. Well, to the point, because we have the three branches of the government, the separation of powers, and thank goodness there's a person with a background of history and political governance like you, unlike the person who's in the Oval Office, who doesn't seem to have any concept of history, economics, or what's happened to the United States and the Western democracies since World War II, how are you going to protect us from the executive branch that seems to be running amok, and the latest example is the sacking of the FBI director that you just agreed seems to be bipartisan. Well, and the, the, only thing, the, only, the, only, the only thing that seems to be going on with Comey was that he was directing an investigation into the collusion between Trump and the Russian hacking. Right, but that investigation is going to go forward in the House and the Senate anyway, right? I mean, so I, I get what you're coming from. Is it time to start the special, special prosecutor? As it relates to, please, Andrew, 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 a special prosecutor as it relates to President Trump? Yes, an in, in, independent, in, independent investigation. I know it's time consuming, and I know that, that, it's, that it's costly, but it, is it time for an investigation? Well, look, I mean, there's some certain percentage of people who would have convened the, the special investigation on the day after the election. There are investigations ongoing on both sides of the building that that are bipartisan in nature, and and it was it was it was, oh my gosh, I believe Barbara Boxer the other day, who when asked if there is hard evidence of collusion, said no. So I, I know I've heard another representative from California say in classified briefings he's seen that. I will tell you, I'm privy to an awful lot of classified briefings. I haven't seen that. So, you know, l let me say this. Believe it or not, the original test as to who's going to be pliant as it relates to what President Trump wants, we passed. We just passed it because ideologically he wasn't where we thought he needed to be, which put us in agreement with a lot of folks, but for an entirely different reason, right? And so ultimately people wanted me to oppose the original AHCA, and I did. I just didn't do it for the same reason that they wished I would have. Having said that, I'm not doing anything any differently, saying anything any differently, or governing any, any, any differently than I did when I ran for the office. That's the duty I think I owe people. And then we'll stand for election again, and we'll either win or we'll lose, right? And that's okay. And again, I said this earlier, if your representative, whether Democrat or Republican, is so tied to re-election that they will compromise, and I use air quotes intentionally because if you compromise core principles, they're not core principles so that they'll compromise on what they think is right to get reelected. Even if you agree with them, you should fire them. We are descended from a group of people, right, talking about history, and, and not just once, not just when we stood up against the crown, but when we stood up at, at, at the American Civil 